Hello all, this is just a quick demo of an Android application that controls uh, one of my stepper controllers. Uh, I've got a new stepper controller out there. Uh, it talks out to a small Bluetooth module. Uh, we'll see that as we uh, get to the end of this video. So what we have here is the Android application running. We want to connect to a device. And we pick one of the devices to connect to. And it gives you a little toast menu showing it after it's connected. And up here you'll see the uh, display of the device and we can focus in if you watch the uh, oh we're on brightness now so let's start let's start with that so we can control the brightness of the screen here so it doesn't blow out your dark adaptation okay and we can switch menus we can go to the temperature setup um, we can zero the position and then I can confirm it. So if you watch the position up there, it'll go to zero. Okay. We can save a position wherever we're at. There's five slots to save a position. Two, three, four, five. Uh, we can go to a position. And we get five go-to positions that we saved before. And here's the main display. We've got the position. So if you notice here, we've got the uh, stepper moving up. This is this current step. Per second, that's gating out. We can control that with the slider here. So if you notice the uh, number here, it's going to be moving. Okay, so now we're at uh, 10 steps per second. Let's move it up a little bit. And over here, you'll see uh, the focus knob of a of a stepper control, a stepper motor. Okay, we can focus out. We can focus in. We can come over here. Yes, we're going to go a heck of a lot slower now. It's barely moving. You can barely see it. So now we're at position 463. So now say we want to save that for later. We can jump down here. We can do a save position. We'll save it in position 0. So now that's now at minus 463. And so let's zero the... Let's move it away from there. Let's go a little bit faster drop down here, go to position and then it'll drive the stepper to the position you want to go to and some of the other things you can do here is you can set up the motor you can set the stepping so uh, let's see, let's go back to set stepping uh, if you notice here we have a, a W after the position so we can have a wave stepping full stepping or half stepping okay we can set the coils on or off notice the next to the position next to the stepping tight got a toggle there and we can set the the phase it'll take any uh any wiring to the stepper that you can come up with uh, and account for it right now this is wired up to phase zero uh type it's an internal definition uh, you just have to set it and forget it after you do that Okay, we can set up the display, we can set the brightness, you've already seen that work. Uh, we can set the contrast, that doesn't work on Android devices, can't do that. And uh, we can set the backlights always on, we can set it to not always on, and then we can set the how long the backlight stays on. So we'll set it for 10 seconds, now after 10 seconds it should go off, save your battery, and you can go up to uh, 310 seconds in this display. All of these menus are being driven out of the uh, the pick chip on the step controller. Okay, let's up this a little bit so it doesn't do that to us anymore. Okay, we can go. It has uh, built-in auto temperature compensation. You can set it up under here. You, know, you can tell it how much to change, how much to move, backlash correction. Uh, last temperature um, right now it's never been run so this is just invalid data at this point in time and we can force compensation disabled and we can jump out of here we've seen the zero position happen before we've seen the save position we've seen the go to position and we're back to the temperature now what you're looking at here is again you know we can Move the focuser, adjust how fast it's going to go. Okay, and then this is all 
wire it up and over here is the uh, the top top part of your screen is the stepper controller uh, and then here's the Bluetooth module that wires into it you got 12 volts coming in you got a six six p six c out to a stepper you got a temperature sensor coming in you've got USB uh, you can also uh, put a board cable on here and make it standalone power. There's a 5 volt regulator under here that uh, if you run a USB cable out backwards just with power and ground back into the input it'll it'll make it standalone system. There's some other uh, jumpers over here okay that it also supports uh, potentiometer speed control and two buttons for in and out uh, so you can have a handheld unit with buttons you can have wireless you can have standalone you can have cables out to US out to the PC, you get temperature compensation. That's pretty much all of it. Uh, it's primarily about the app. The rest of the stuff is all more mundane. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye-bye.